dog. I like to get it deep, creates the mushroom effect. I'm able to hold the paint and get the paint thicker. When it's thicker, it looks uh, more finished. If it's thin, it looks dainty and weak. So uh, I like the dog. Why don't we stick in a hot head Harry? Why don't we throw in, I say, let's throw in a heart. Small heart, a big heart. Let me look here. Here's the heart. Why don't we throw in some speaking? So they're all talking to each other. Why don't we have Hothead Harry giggling? Let's add a little bigger so he's really shouting. And why don't we have the dog barking. One more, then we'll go to a big one because he's really barking. <laughs> I would call this a garage rebar rat. Perfect example of throwing everything in, including the kitchen sink. Rebar neck of carbon steel. I have a GSS head, a 009 head, which in GSS is a Cameron and Company. I've got an array of tour stamps mixed in with a custom shop stamp, which we just don't do. We don't mix the two, but here I did. It just seems fitting. So it is everything and anything thrown into a rat putter called the rebar rat. I like things kind of flat in the back, but then when they get too flat, then I start moving this around here, moving it around here. So this width here, this should fall away, but the top line should complement. I don't want it too skinny or too thick to make it look lethargic or fat or wimpy or thin either. So I normally like to grind this angle or mill this angle right in here to start the look early. A lot of good early putters, 8802s, they started that. But instead of a heel shaft, which gets a lot of uh, a lot of flow to it, a heel shaft. Let's go this way. The where I move this neck dictates how much of this arc. I like this from 70 degrees. It creates a simple arc, but with a heel shaft, it starts to create more so, and some like that. But straight back and forth would be more towards face balance if this is a golf ball. So. We like it square for about three balls as we've talked. So this arc, etc. But this putter, 
I like round necks, I like stubby necks, I like stocky necks. So I like this around here. I like this too pointy in here. I want to soften this out. I don't want it too long in length. I don't want it too stubby. The wider and the shorter looks boxy. The longer and thinner looks very uh, elegant, but it looks kind of blady and tough to use. So on a round neck, I want this coming over. I like three quarters to one shaft offset. Depending on the head distance back here, I can get less or more offset to complement the look of the putter. Here, very classic, very elegant, and move this thing back. And when I finish putting the neck on, I'll bend this with you. So I'll grind this shape. We've milled this head. Elegant. I want this head, four degrees loft, simple top line, sole width. I always like a two degree draft. Top line. I like this coming. I like it falling away. I like this to come and melt into the ground. Little end here. And I want my four degrees loft. Then I'm going to put on that neck and I want the neck to come over early. I want that flow for that one degree. So bear with me as I mess that drawing up. And this is going to come here. I'm going to have my offset here. This angle here. Face. I always like on a face look. High toe. I like this goofy look. I like a square toe. I like a flowing neck. I got my sole in here and a simple amount of arc because the ground's not always level and if it is level, I leave the heel side, the toe side. I always have a blunt toe or a pintail. But here, I like this angle here. I like to put the neck, as you can see here, I'm drawing this from the front and that comes back. So I have the offset here and I have the lie angle softly coming back in here. I've got the high flow toe, I've got the heel, I got the blunt, I got the blunt toe. Almost an elf shoe effect here. Kind of dig that. I could go straight across, but this here, the high toe, just like your wedges have a high toe, putters to have high toe sometimes makes you so you don't pull it up so to get the loft awkward. So I'll tell you more about that high toe versus the four degrees loft and what it does for you. So here's a just of what I'm gonna make. No pocket. No pocket. I want this very clean. Again, watch this, get rid of that. I don't like this point. I'll come around here, soften this out, flow it around. I don't like putting lines on the back here because they look awkward. I think this putter looks great with a O or a circle up in here. If I wanted to, I could come in here and I can weld things, I can spruce this up, I can keep it simple. Why don't we make this one a S? Because I have to create this neck to put onto this head. Then on the back side of this putter, we'll go up here. Toe side, I got my blunt toe. Let's go the high toe. Sole angle here. Remember I got my rocker. I've got the blunt heel. I've got my heel. I've got my area kind of in here for that neck to come back. I've got this. So to compensate for this neck, which is about 30 to 40 grams, compensate this, I'll keep the milling low here, but I need some weight here to compensate for the neck there to get the sweet spot right there. So I'm going to bring this up, follow that top line, and get some mass to get some weight to compensate for the neck to get the sweet spot, if that makes sense. Got this, got the high toe, got the bluntness. That's my 
thoughts now if I really wanted to I would like to do when I love this with a pocket so start to see this if there was a pocket I would come in from the side view and create a pocket in here where I could come I'll put a little when I mill it creates this that angle of slope and the mill creates this pocket to give this hugging effect of this nature and that's if I want this this one here I'm not going to actually put in a pocket here but I will do one maybe a little thinner I like this wide body not really heel shaft classic look toe starting that stroke coming back if this angle went this way my face looks like it goes this way and the path goes outside so I want that to start off going this way so I can tease the eye and shape this so this toe wants to look like it comes this way anyhow let me get started on this here's a concept I think it would be cool for the person that bought this putter would get the drawing or the concept and this is strictly just a thought on this putter for ICC 2012.